So I'm going to start doing reactions with earphones in just so I can, you know, kind of appreciate the music more. You know, I can hear it better. I mean, speakers are good too, but you know, like the fact that I'm having it in my ear, you know, makes me appreciate it more. I will still add the music to it. So, um, don't be worried about that. And, um, yeah. So I'm going to be doing Tierra's Hide and Seek. They just released it. It's supposed to be on their repackaged album for, again, 1977. So, let's get to it. I always love Jiyun's makeup. I mean, her eyes are already big, but like the way they wing her liner out like makes it like extra huge. Although I think Soyeon's eyes are the biggest. Just like so huge. So much hair dye. You know, she went platinum, so that's kind of like extremely killing her hair. But Hyomin hasn't sung yet. That's weird. She's usually one of the first few people to sing. I'm glad they gave Forum like the chorus because her voice is like amazing and she looks amazing. She's like a doll. in hand. Just brisk your hair, hair a little bit. That scared me. Oh yes, heal me. Okay, so, um... I do like... Or I did like the song. Um, interesting, too, because the way they released it was... You had, again, which is their first EP. Or their first EP. I believe it's their eighth mini-album, which is also counted as an EP. And then... 
after that, they released um, Do You Know Me, which was a repackage, and Hide and Seek was on the repackage, but it wasn't released until now, and <clears throat> it was released as a third a winter album, different album cover and everything, and it had the same songs as um, the 1997 repackage. The number nine repackage, um, <clears throat> the number nine one, again, it, it had I think like five songs. There wasn't much, wait, there was number nine, the instrumental, club version, don't get married, it hurts. So like five songs, and then the repackage had more than that. including Hide and Seek, and then the third one, which is their winter, supposedly, another repackage or an album, had Hide and Seek and the instrumental alongside the same songs as the 1977 repackage. I mean, I kind of don't, that's one thing that kind of disheartens me about K-pop, is the fact that artists will release something and then they'll have a repackage for just like one song when they could you know, release a digital single, or they could, you know, do a mini album. And with this one, you know, TR could have released a digital single, Hide and Seek, and the instrumentals itself. But without that being said, this is probably one of the best um, Christmas ballads I've heard so far from the ones that they released. Um, I know there are more, so I'm probably saying that with empty feelings. Because. Starship Entertainment just released one and I'll do that later, but this one is good. I did like how they distributed the lines. Let me take my phone off. That sounds weird. But I did like how they distributed the lines. Although Curie only got like 10 words, which is kind of disappointing because she has a good voice too, and I think the majority of this one was um, Boram, Unjung, and Jiyeon, which is kind of weird because I know um, I do like this tiara, the original six. But for some reason, it's like they were doing half and half in sense hide and seek because three of the members look sad, which were Hyomin, Unjung, and um. Was it Kyuri? Yeah, Hyomin, Unjung, and Kyuri. If I'm not mistaken. Or was it Jian? Yeah, I'm gonna go with Jian. I believe it's Hyomin, and Jung, and Jian. They kind of look all sad. Which is kind of like the hide part. You know, you're hiding, sad, blah, blah, blah. And then the seeking part, which is they're happy, was Boram, Kyuri, and who's the last one? Soyeon. One thing I didn't notice about Soyeon is like, since number nine, like every time she gets close ups, even in the live performances, like, Every other word's like, hello, how are you doing? Like she winks and it's so prettily done. But then like I know a lot of, there was like speculation with um, people who were just commenting on the videos like, is something wrong with her eye? Like is she okay? And yeah, she's fine. And even on this video, like people are saying that she's sick for some reason. And you know, I mean like, why would she be sick? I don't know, Jiyun hurt her lie, her. Yeah, her leg during number nine promotions, and she was fine. She pulled through um, 1977. She had probably one of the most complicated parts in the beginning, which is the Hey Baby, Hey Baby part. Anyway, overall, it's a good song, good ballad. Um, I did listen to it beforehand because I did purchase the album, but great song. And you know, Tiara's done it again. They're originally a ballad group. And I do like how they um, stay to they stay to their um, what's that called? Stay true to their roots because CCM is kind of like a ballad producing group group. I mean company, but yeah. Overall, great song. And if you enjoyed my reaction, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Thank you for watching.